Welcome to our lecture online. In the previous video, we showed you the shortcut, shortcut method to find the binomial expansion when we had a negative sign in between the two terms of our binomial instead of a positive sign. In this example, as you can tell, it's a little bit more complicated. We're actually going to work through the example, and that shows you you'll end up with that alternating plus and minus sign. But also notice that we're going to use, first of all, the Pascal's triangle. We're going to see that the coefficients of our expansion are given right here. And now let's see what that will equal. So this is equal to the first coefficient times the first term, x squared, raised to the exponent 5, times the second term, negative 5, raised to the 0 exponent. So here I'm actually working through it in every detail. Now we're going to add to that. Now you say, well, wait a minute, didn't you say we're going to alternate signs? Well, this will automatically give us that alternating sign, so you'll see in just a moment. So now we're going to go plus, that's the numerical coefficient of the second term, the second term, x squared, or I should say the first character in our binomial, that would be to the fourth power, and the second character, minus 5, to the first power. Plus, and again, I'm just going to write pluses because if I write it like this, the negative sign will automatically take care of that. So that's the numerical coefficient of x squared to the third power and minus 5 quantity squared. Plus the fourth numerical coefficient times the quantity x squared to the, so we have fifth, fourth, third, second power. Maybe I should have given myself a little bit more room because after all I'm going to need one, two, three, four, five, six terms. So let me move that a little bit further to the left. So here we have plus x squared to the second power minus 5 to the third power plus, and I forgot my numerical coefficient, so let's put it up here like that, plus the numerical coefficient times the quantity x squared to the first power minus 5 to the fourth power plus the numerical coefficient of x squared to the 0 power and minus 5 to the 5th power. All right. So first of all, we can go ahead and take the 6 numerical coefficients and plug them in right there. And I'll use a different color. Let's see, do I have my blue pen here somewhere? I think my blue pen is hiding. There it is. So we're going to plug in the number 1, the number 5, the number 10, the number 10, the number 5, and the number 1. Okay, now we can go ahead and work out the details. So this is equal to anything to the 0 power is always equal to 1, and x squared to the 5th power is x to the 10th, so we end up with x to the 10th as our first term. Then, here notice we have minus 5 to the 1st power, which means the negative sign is not negated, so this negative sign will now come over here. I have x squared to the 4th power, well, that will become x squared to the 4th power, that's x to the 8, x to the 8, and I end up with minus 5 times 5, which is minus 25, so we need a 25 in front there. The negative comes from minus 5 to the 1st power. A negative sign to an odd exponent will give us a negative. Now, notice that here we have negative 5 to the 2nd power, that will actually get rid of the negative, so now we end up with a positive. We end up with x squared to the third power, which is x to the sixth, and 10 times 5 squared, which is 25 times 10, which is 250. So notice that even though we have the numerical coefficients of 1, 5, 10, 10, 5, and 1 in our binomial expansion, because the second term here in our binomial is a number, that will, of course, ad adjust the numerical coefficient that we end up with. So now we have the first three terms. Here's the fourth term, x squared to the fourth power. That will be x to the fourth. Negative 5 to the third power, so the negative sign will survive. And then we have 10 times 5 cubed. Now 5 cubed, that's 125 times 10 is 1250. For the fifth term, notice we have minus 5 to the fourth power. That will become positive again, so we have a positive x squared to the first power is simply x squared, and the numerical coefficient is 5 to the fourth power times 5, which is 5 to the fifth power. That's 125, that's 625, that's 3,125. 3,125. And finally, we get x squared to the zero power, which simply 1, 1 times 1, 
minus 5 to the 5th power, we get a negative, and 5 to the 5th power is again 3,125. Let's check that. That's 5, 125, 625, 3. Yep, that is correct. And so here's our binomial expansion. Notice we still end up with positive, negative, positive, negative, positive, negative, just what we expect from having a negative there. But we worked it out in detail. We let the exponent take care of the sign. And so you can also find the expansion doing it that way. And that is how it's done. Hmm. So now we have Smokey up here.